understanding how to adjust your sails in order to extract power from the wind to move the boat is an essential skill of sailing. This video is the first of several we'll do to explore the mysteries of sail trap. It'll explain the different forms of wind power and when to use them. There are actually two types of wind power. To understand the first form of wind power, consider a sail with the wind blowing directly towards it. The wind hits the sail, presses against it, and flows around it. This wind pressing produces a force technically called drag. For the purposes of this video, we'll call it push because that's the effect that it has. Now let's consider the second type of wind power. Consider a sail oriented so the wind approaches it at an angle. If the sail is oriented at the correct angle, the wind flows smoothly past both sides of the sail. And that smooth flow of air by both sides of the sail produces a force termed lift. Lift produced by the smooth flow of air by both sides of a curved sail is the same power as that produced by an airplane wing. So which of the two wind powers, push versus lift, do we use when? Let's prepare a wind power graph with the wind coming from the top of the graph. Now let's add our points of sail. Close hauled, beam reach, broad reach, running, and at the top we'll mark the no sail zone. Because lift is dependent on a smooth flow of air by both sides of the sail, we can only develop lift if the wind is ahead of or off to the side of the boat. I've marked that area and the relative size of the lift force in red. Push requires that the wind be able to blow against the sail. Therefore, the wind needs to be after the beam or behind the boat. I'll mark those angles and the relative power of push in green. So let's simplify this graph. I'll outline the lift wind angles in red and the push wind angles in green, then eliminate the interior contents. And then we have a simple graph that answers the question of push versus lift. If the wind angle is close hauled to just after a beam reach, you want to trim for lift. If it's after a beam reach to running, you want to trim for push. And that's the basics of how to harness wind power.